Pokemon materials. They're pretty weird when you stop and think about them. So for those who don't know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet introduced the concept of Pokemon materials. They're items that drop off of wild Pokemon when you defeat them in battle or catch them. And most make sense. Furs, feathers, that sort of thing. Leaves are very common amongst the grass types. And you generally use these things to make TMs. That's kind of their main purpose. But some of the materials are really weird and in some cases kind of upsetting. And I thought it would be fun if I just rapid fire went through all the weird ones just to show you what exactly I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's get started. Slowpoke Claw. This one isn't particularly weird. I guess slowpokes do technically have claws, but I don't know why you went with the claw when you've already established in canon that the tail comes off and can regrow and it's just a thing in the universe. Why, why not just go with the tail? That's all I'm saying. Shoulder and Spoink both drop pearls. Spoink is kind of weird about this because according to the Pokedex, in most cases it's pearl comes from a clamp pearl. But clamp pearl, A, its face is the pearl. So that's concerning. And B, you also can't find them anywhere in Paldea or Kitakami or Blueberry Academy or anywhere in the Scarlet and Violet games. So where are you getting the pearls, Spoink? Shelter, on the other hand, is also kind of weird. I looked this up. In most cases, when you harvest pearls from oysters, you end up killing the oyster. Did I murder a shelter? Possibly. The next group I want to go through all together because none of them make sense. Ghastly, Drifloon, and Salandit all drop gas. Rotom drops sparks. Maroom drops fumes. And Nummel and Slugma both drop lava. All I want to know about all of these things is how the heck am I transporting any of these items? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Do I just have random vials of stuff? The icon for Pokemon materials is a bag. Am I carrying around a bag full of lava? A bag of sparks? Am I physically carrying a bag full of coughing gas? Mistrevis, Bonsley, and Lapras all drop tears. I made them cry. That ju that's great. And also, Lapras, according to the Pokedex, is an endangered species. I made an endangered species cry. You made me do that, Game Freak. What the heck? Delibird is one of the only Pokemon that gets its own unique item drop. A parcel. Which is kind of concerning, because according to Title 18, Chapter 83, Section 1708 of the United States Code, it is illegal to steal, take, abstract, or by fraud or deception obtain, or attempt to obtain, other people's mail. Now I'm a criminal! Thanks for that! Ralts, Hapini, and Hatna all drop dust. Dreepy drops powder, and Surskit drops syrup. What do these have in common? Mainly, I don't know what these are. Where's the dust on a Ralts? Where's the syrup coming out of a Surskit? They, they raise way more questions than they answer. So why'd you put it in the game? I'm just so confused. Makuhita, Scraggy, Phalanx, Metatite, and Tyroke. All sweat. Which is gross. Prickatot apparently drops a shell, and I want to know, wh where's the shell coming from? I don't get that. Is it supposed to be dropping its exoskeleton, like most bugs have? And what is the exoskeleton of a Prickatot? What does that look like? I'm so confused. All these things just make me want to know more. Why do you keep making me ask questions about a game for children? Stop doing that! Clefkey, believe it or not, drops keys. As if I didn't have a junk drawer that was full of random crap already. Satoddle drops grease, which I can only assume is some sort of oil. And Satoddle is a big land whale. Am I... Is this whale oil? Am I participating in whaling? What the heck, Japan? Toad School drops flaps. 
I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what that one is. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. And finally, Morpico drops snacks, which is only concerning because Morpico needs snacks constantly to not go absolutely, totally, completely insane. Also, I, I, I kind of want to know what they taste like. I mean, Morpico likes them. What kind of snack is it? I want to know. I want to taste the snacks. Thank you guys for watching. That was all of the weird materials I thought up when I was scrolling through Pokemon's Garden Environment. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I know this was a shorter one, but coming on the line later this month, I do have a much larger video coming up. I'm actually pretty excited about it. It was really fun to write out and record. Hopefully it'll still be fun to edit. Uh, it should be coming out in a couple, two or three weeks. I'm hoping it'll be out by Pokemon Day of this year. So be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, I hope you give this video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. That's always fun. And uh, until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.